Hello everyone. Today we will be giving presentation on Vivo Collaboration IPO. Moving moving ahead to what we will discuss in this presentation is the introduction of the company Vivo, its competitive strengths and promoters, company's financials, IPO details, issue detail and capital history, IPO lot size, promoter holdings, and IPO review and subscription status. Moving ahead to the introduction of the company, Vivo Collaboration Solutions Limited, that is VCSL, offers a comprehensive suite of telephony services, covering every voice-based solutions that an enterprise needs. It delivers end-to-end -end cloud telephony solutions for enterprises, incorporated with the vision to redefine all voice-centric communications by enabling enterprises to break free from the legacy PC. PSTN based communications. Vivo takes IP voice applications to a whole new level. Vivo Converged platform is solid, scalable, and yet simple. Solid as it is harnessed the robustness of TDM networks. Scalable as it rides the ubiquitous MPLS cloud. And simple because it neatly integrates everything in the background. The platform exquisitely differentiates and stands out among other competitive services on account of its top-driven tech DNA, which ensures that even the minutes of development aspects are addressed to perfection. VCLS OPEX-based cloud platform caters to specific needs of diverse customer base and services are optimally, optimally calibrated to ensure zero communication loss and hence save precious management time. It unlocks a whole new world of high-definition conferring and peer-to-peer -peer voice features. It has 19 full-time employees as of August 2, 2021. VCSL's manpower is a prudent mix of the experience and youth, which gives the dual advantage of stability and growth. Moving ahead to comp its competitive strengths are First, experienced management and motivated team. Second, end-to-end -end cloud telephony services provider. Third, one window cloud access. Fourth, commitment to quality. Now, companies promoters are UCIT managed services private limited. Moving ahead to companies financials. On the financial performance front, for the last three fiscals, VCSL has posted a revenue of Rs. 9.04 crore and net profits of Rs. 0.04 crore in financial year 2019 and revenue of Rs. 10.03 crore and net profits of Rs. 0.58 crore in financial year 2020. And Revenue of Rs. 14.89 crore and net profits of Rs. 3.19 crore in financial year 2021. For the first quarter of financial year 2022 ended on June 30, 2021, it has earned a net profit of Rs. 1.11 crore on a revenue of Rs. 3.64 crore. The sudden boost in bottom lines for the last 15 months raises eyebrows. For the last three fiscals, PCSL has posted an average EPS of Rs. 16.53 and an average RONW of 61.56%. The issue is priced at a P slash BW of 2.57 based on its NAV of 31.91 as of March 31, 2021 and at a P slash BW of 1.81 based on its post issue NAV of Rs. 45.24. If we analyze financial year 2022 earnings and attribute it to fully diluted post IPO equity, then the asking price is at a, a PE of around 3.72 and based on financial year 21, it comes to 5.18. Thus, the IPO pricing appears tempting based on the financial year 2021 and financial year 2022 annualized earnings. This is the summary of financial information. You can have a look at it. Moving forward to Vivo Collaboration IPO details. These are the details of IPO. IPO opening date is on December 20, 2021 and IPO closing date is on December 23, 2021. The type is fixed price issue IPO. Face value of shares will be 
uh, rupees 10 per equity shares and the price of IPO will be rupees 82 per equity shares. Market lot size is 1600 shares. Minimum order quantity will be 1600 shares also. Listing at uh, will be at uh, NSE and S SME. Issue size is of 5,36,000 equity shares of rupees 10 per share. Fresh issue shares will be of 5,36,000 equity shares of rupees 10 per equity shares. Now moving forward to issue details and capital history. To part finance its need for working capital of rupees 2.68 crore general corporate purpose rupees 1.10 crore VCSL is coming out with a maiden IPO of 5,36,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at a fixed price of rupees 82 per share to mobilize rupees 4.40 crore. The issue opens for subscription on December 2021, uh, 20, 2021 and will close on December 23, 2021. Minimum application is to be made for 1,600 shares and in multiples thereon. Thereafter, post allotment shares will be listed on the NSE SME Emerge platform. The issue constitutes 26.60% of the post issue paid up capital of the company. VCSL will be spending Rs 0.62 crore for this IPO process. This indicates a fully structured issue with funding arrangements clocked in before the issue. This is solely lead management managed by Sarthi Capital Advisors Private Limited. Big Share Services Private Limited is the registrar and OJ Financial Services Limited is the market maker for this issue. The company has issued entire equity at par so far and has also issued bonus shares in the ratio of 28 for 1 in September 2020. The average cost of acquisition of shares by the promoters is Rs 5.95 per share. Post issue VCLs current paid up equity capital of rupees 1.48 crore will rise to rupees 2.02 crore based on the ipo pricing the company is looking for a market cap of rupees 16.52 crore moving ahead to the vivo collaboration ipo market lot size it is 1600 shares and a retail individual investor can apply for up to one lot that is 1600 shares or for amount up to uh, 1,31,200. Moving forward to Vivo Collaboration IP Promoter Holding, pre-issue shareholding is 100% and post-issue shareholding is 73.40%. Moving ahead to IPO Review and Subscription Status, Vivo Collaboration IP Review. The issue price is very tempting based on its recent performances. Its comparison with listed peers is surprising. The sudden boost in bottom lines raises eyebrows and also a concern for sustainability going forward. Considering all these, risk seeker, cash surplus investor may consider parking their funds for the medium to long term. Vivo Collaboration IPO subscription status, the Vivo Collaboration IPO is subscribed 9.35 times on December 22, 2021 uh, at 12.32 p.m. The public issue subscribed 17.51 times in the retail category, times in the QIB category and 1.18 times in the NII category. These are the categories and subscription times listed below. You can have a look at it. And Thank you for watching this slideshow.